This is part 122 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to set password on a local user account that is linked to an external login like Google, Facebook, etc. This allows the user to log in using either the local user account or an external login. Let's understand this with an example. Let me log into this ASP.NET Core application using my external Google login. The email that I'm going to use is prejimtest at gmail.com. We are logged in. If we take this email address, prejimtest at gmail.com, and take a look at a spinet users database table, notice for this email address, which is also the username, password hash column is null. And that's because for this user, we are using an external login provider for example, in this case, Google, to log into our ASP.NET Core application. Now, what we want to do is set password for this user. So this user can then either use this local user account, that is this username and password combination, or an external login account, like Google or Facebook, to log in. After the user is logged in, using an external login provider like Google, he then uses this view to set a local password. Notice this view does not ask for the current user password and that's because so far this user has been using external login providers like Google to log in. So his current password is null. That's the reason we don't ask for the user current password. We only need his new password which he also has to confirm. And to carry the data this view needs, we have to create the corresponding view model class. Let's add it to the view models folder in our project. I'm going to call it add password view model. This class is going to contain just two properties, new password and confirm password. Let's also bring in the required namespace. Next, we need to create this view. Let's create it in the account folder. The name is add password. This is standard view code. Notice the model for the view is add password view model and then we display this text to the user so he knows what he is doing. We have a form with validation summary tag helper and then a label input and a span for new password and the same for confirm password and finally a submit button. Next we need to create add password confirmation view. Let's also add it to this account folder. All this view does is display the confirmation that a local password is successfully set. Next, within the account controller, let's add the corresponding action. First, retrieve the user from the underlying database table. For that, we're using controller base dot user property. If you recollect from our previous videos, this property is set to the logged in user. If a user is not already logged in, then it is null. Once we have the user, we call has password async method. As the name implies, this method returns true if a local password is already set, otherwise false. If we already have a password set, then send the user to change password action so he can change his password. We implemented change password in our previous video. Otherwise, we render add password view so a new password can be set. Next, let's include HTTP post variation of this add password action. First, get the user from the database and then call add password async method. It is this method that adds a new local password and it has got two parameters, the user for whom we want to set a new local password and the new password itself. If adding the password did not succeed, then look through the errors, add them to the model state and re-render the view. If setting the password succeeded, then refresh the sign-in cookie and then send the user to add password confirmation view. With all these changes in place, let's run our project and see what we've got so far. I'm already logged in using my Google account. And at the moment, under Manage, we already have password menu item. When I select this, we go to change password action. Can I use this change password view to add a local password? Let's see. At the moment, 
this user does not have a local password. So let's leave this current password field blank, provide a new password and confirm password. We get a validation error. Current password is required. So let me provide a random password. Incorrect password. So the point that I'm trying to make is we cannot use this change password view to set a new local password. So here is what we want to do now. First, determine if this logged in user already has a local password set. If that is the case, and then if we select this password menu item, then send the user to change password action. Otherwise, send him to add password action. So let's modify the code we have in change password. Take a look at the code in this HTTP GET add password action. We are checking if the user already has a local password set. If he already has a password set, then we are sending the user to change password action. So we want to do something similar in change password action. So let's copy this and paste it in change password. We have compilation errors because we are using await keyword but this method is not yet an async method. So let's turn it into an async method. If the user does not have a local password set, then we want to send him to add password action. Let's save and take a look at the browser. Now, let me log in using this username, prajeem at prajeemtech.com. We are logged in. If we take a look at this user, in ASP.NET users database table, notice this user already has a local password set. So if I select this menu item under manage, we go to change password. So we can use this view to change our existing password. Now let me log out, log back in, this time with my external Google account. We are logged in. If we take a look at this username, prajimtest at gmail.com in ASP.NET users database table, notice we do not have a local password yet. So if we click on the password menu item, we see the add password view. So let's set a new local password. We need to confirm it as well. There we go. The new local password is successfully set. If we take a look at ASP.NET users database table, notice for this user, the password hash column is not null. Notice, now if I try to navigate to manage password, we go to change password because this user already has a local password set. This user, prajimtest at gmail.com, can now log in using this local username and password combination or the external Google login. To set a password, on a local account that is linked to an external login like Google, use add password async method. Once the password is successfully set, we have to refresh the sign-in cookie. For that, use refresh sign-in async method. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.